Está. Ok, here we're at a construction site this afternoon on our house number one of this generation and we're just going to go and do what I call a few unicorn experiments as, and what I refer to as the kind of things that you find hidden in houses that are almost never seen in Costa Rica, hence I call them unicorns. Now the first one, we're here on Feb well, no, I guess it's March the 1st today, uh, 2014, and the Uvita, just south of Dominical, uh, on the house of Jason and Sarah Smith. Now the first one to look at here is we have our main electrical supply line coming in here underground, and you'll notice, if we get a little closer to the camera there, you can see that the unions have been glued together so that no water can get into the electrical lines. Very common electricians here do not glue together conduits, therefore water gets in and you have troubles in the future. Okay, moving on, let's go in to have a look at some of the rest of the things of the house. Um, here, this is an elevated slab um, on grade here with a, a thickened perimeter all around like a grade beam built into the slab, uh, all with rebar. Not my favorite way of building, but um, it works on a, on, a, on a flat lot, like you can see here. This area is totally flat. Come on in and let's have a look at a few other things that are a little unusual. Uh, here, this is a a toilet drain. This is a, a vent that is in there, so as to vent this whole line. There's another vent. This house is 140 square meters, and that line over here is another vent. Also serving hands right here. Something that you rarely see is a clean out. But this whole line goes all the way across the house, so if there's ever a problem, that's a way to get at it to run a snake in. And now, moving on. Another vent. We go our distances in the lines. Uh, this vent serves the kitchen and um, future dishwasher. Now, continuing on. Here's another vent, as well as one over here. This will be coming up in the walls to, so as I said, a total of five vents in this size of a house. Now here's another unicorn experience, and that's called a pea trap down there. And this is serving two bathtubs and a shower, and they all have pea traps, so meaning that no gas can come up and gas somebody or leave those wonderful odors in your in your bathrooms. Now, looking outside, this is our main line going down here, heading off to what would be the septic tank. Note there is no 90 degree turns anywhere in any of this tubing. You'll see that everything I've connected together, even down here in front of us, these are all using Y's. 45 degree turns to keep the flow of your water moving and therefore not plugging up. Now this will all have to be filled in with, uh, as the excavation work goes on, but this is all at a 2% slope so that we have good and correct flow all the way out to the septic tank. Which this will continue on and then the septic tank and the field will go all across the back here once the tank arrives next week. Anyways, that basically covers some of the uh, things that are regularly not seen on construction sites, uh, but it's standard operating procedure. Everything we build certainly has all of these requirements.